Where on earth did I end up now? Is this a art studio? Is this a subway station in Berlin? Is this a hotel room? I think it is a hotel room, right? Yup. I just checked into the uh, NHOW, the NOW Hotel. Um, it's also called Bloom, I think. So NHOW, NH Bloom Hotel in Brussels. I'm actually, I actually made it to Brussels this time. Uh, it's the capital of Belgium, as you know or don't know. It's the capital of Europe as well. There's a lot of European um, institutions here. Um, it's always a little bit scary to drive into Brussels uh, if you're not used to it, I guess. It's always busy. Uh, it's a Monday evening right now. I'm on the seventh floor. I um, just checked in. I had an entire tour of the hotel. Um, huge shout out, by the way, to the, um, the reception guy, uh, Mark, I think his name is, yeah, um, he was really fantastic, he made me feel welcome uh, right away, I always email the hotels uh, ahead of time to tell them I'm going to be filming, because I don't want to be uh, too much of a, yeah, a nuisance, um, so they know, and then, yeah, he found it out, and he just showed me around, he was so proud to show me every little nook and cranny of the hotel, showed me the uh, conference rooms downstairs, the co-working spaces, there is a bar, uh, looks fantastic. There's a restaurant as well. Um, the breakfast room, he was really proud about. Um, had a little van inside, uh, a waffle making station. Um, I will show you guys tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. The hotel is fantastic. The personnel is fantastic. If the general manager sees this, um, yeah, give Mark a big fat hug or raise or whatever you want to do, but this guy's golden, yeah. So without further ado, because you've already seen the part of the hotel, uh, I don't want to keep you guys from guessing what's behind this door and what's behind the curtain as well. Um, the, the team of the hotel is um, art, uh, as you can see. Every level has a different theme. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm in the splishy, splashy themed um, floor. I'm not sure who the artist is that did all this, but um, yeah, it's pretty unique. I saw this on booking.com and I just had to go here um, to film this for you guys. So yeah, let me do the tour uh, real quick, but not too quick. The ironing board, even the ironing board has some uh, paint splatters on it. Then there's the um, slippers and the bathrobe that you can use for free, obviously, and then take home for 50 euros. That's a small price to pay for a unique bathrobe. Some drawers here with the laundry bag and a shoehorn, I think this is. Wow, my English is progressing with all these crazy words I never use. Search, um, keep an eye on me if I make a mistake. Um, let me know, okay? <laughs> So yeah, and then on this side you have the mini fridge that already contains my breakfast for tomorrow. Nothing special. Um, this is just my keto stuff, some yogurt that you can eat and some eggs. I mean, eggs coming out of my ears. I've been eating eggs and bacon every single morning almost. Because uh, you can't eat bread really. There's a limited amount of bread you can eat. Um, and then some more storage room and the coffee machine not entirely sure which brand it is i'm just gonna guess it's in espresso as well don't kill me if it's not coffee pads um brand name here is focus lore not sure which um which brand this is some more here oh some tea as well cool 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 Oh, by the way, um, I hope this all registers on this camera because right now I'm really using the new camera. Um, also, a tip from Search that I got, just get a new camera, man, because the, um, the last one that I used was just my phone and in the darker areas, it was just terrible. So I really hope this is better. I bought the Sony uh, ZV-1. Um, yeah, I'm filming in 4K, I'm, I'm hoping this will make it like this on YouTube. It looks great on my little screen, but it always does. Yep, now the pièce de résistance for the dark room. What on earth will be behind this door? I can tell you it's the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm not gonna put the lights on because it's actually a dark room, you know, where they uh, develop pictures. 
there's actually a red light that comes on. You can already see some pictures there developing. They're already developed, obviously, but I really love... Um, it's a small thing you can do, right? To pimp up a hotel a little bit, but it, it helps so much to make it unique. I love it. I love it. But for this tour, let's put on the, uh, the main light, right? There you go. The bathroom is kind of big. I like it. It's not small at all. Let's uh, see these pictures. So these are actually people that are sitting in this bathroom. Um, and it says here, create your own bathroom moments and tag NHOW, the now Brussels. I'm pretty sure these are not regular people that just visited the hotel, obviously, because these pictures are way too good. But uh, maybe I'll try to snap a little picture when I'm in the shower in the morning and not show anything that isn't due for these pictures. Then the uh, sink looks a bit retro. I like it. Kind of fits the room. There's a towel on that side, a towel on that side as well. And tissues. There's a uh, one of these bad boys. The hair dryer. There's a covered power plug here as well. Let me turn on those lights as well, the makeup lights. There you go. Should have done that when I came in, but okay. So you have these lights there. Amenities. I already checked them out, that's why they're a bit cluttered. Um, this is the body milk, the uh, shower gel, the shampoo, and a conditioner and a little soap bar as well. That's cool. And then here are two cups with a little note that you can actually drink the water from the tap. Um, pretty much in entire Belgium you can do this. There's nothing to worry about. A box of tissues. Two toilet rolls, a regular toilet, not a hanging toilet, but it's completely fine, obviously. Shower, as always, I will uh, review properly in the morning to tell you guys if the pressure was enough. I already had a quick shower just now when I came in. Um, it looked okay, but again, I will um, give a definitive answer in the morning. Two more towels here. I'm pretty sure I booked for two people. That's probably why there's two towels. I usually try to book for one person, but I think I missed out on this one. I don't think the price was any different though, but I'm always trying to use as little towels as possible, obviously. Trash can as well. So yeah, I think I covered everything in the bathroom. Let's continue on. Let's try to stay behind this line as well. I will show you guys what's up with that later. Then you have this curtain. Oh, forgot to show you guys that I'm not sure why this is here other than some quirky thing that's just hanging there. I'm not sure what the function is. Um, probably make maybe to make it more cozy in the bedroom. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm saying that the bedroom is cozy enough without the curtain, but it's all good. The mattress is uh, looking thick. Let's see what's underneath. It's a plank again. A plank with holes, obviously, to have some ventilation as well. The mattress is bouncy. There's some um, springs in there. As you've seen probably in the last video, I had the same type of bed in Ghent as well. I was a bit worried about just having a plank under there, but turned out to be completely fine. My back was not hurting at all the next morning, so I'm hoping, or I'm guessing, it's going to be the same for this bed as well. And you have the nightstands here. This is pretty cool as well. You have this um, this acoustic uh, sound installation um, foam type of stuff that's on this backboard and also on the on the nightstands. You have the reading lights for pillows. Let's just pull this back already. It's uh, quite a thin. Duvet? Is this a duvet, search? <laughs> Pretty sure it is. And then this uh, note here, please do not cross the line. This is, um, yeah, this is to really um, protect the paintings. 
Let's say the wall was like this when I came in, right? Hiding the TV, there is some more artwork here. Um, so uh, this was pretty much done to give the impression that you're in a museum. Um, so yeah, everything here in this hotel is about the art. I really like it, I really like it. Not sure what the notice is behind this. Oh, no, I will not touch this anymore because I'm gonna break stuff as I usually do. Let's open this up again to have the TV back again. Decent sized TV as well. I probably can't even show it without zooming out anymore. Oh, there it is, got it. Yeah, it's a big TV. Then the desk area is superb. If you're here with two people, there is enough room for both of you to be playing games or work, whatever. Uh, you only have one chair though, and a little futon, I think this is. I'm just making up words now, um, just bear with me, okay? Um, but yeah, the, um, the desk overlooks the entire city though. The view, I think, is going to be amazing. They put me up on the seventh floor. Um, I think there's one more floor above this one, which is the eighth floor, which the guy from reception told me that you probably should visit it because it's the gym uh, and it's a fantastic view over the skyline of the city. Um, we're actually very close to the uh, Gare du Nord, which is the north station. It's a 10 minute walk. Uh, it's a 20 minute walk from the Grand Place, which is the main square of Brussels, where all the restaurants and cafes are, the heart of Brussels. Um, so yeah, it's really, really well located. Um, it's in an area called Kruiptuin, which means uh, herb garden. <laughs> that doesn't translate. Let's just keep it in French. I think it's called Botanique. Um, so if you look that up on the map, it's uh, you have Brussels here, and then it's right here on the north side. Gare du Nord, the train station is here. You can take the uh, the train from here, obviously, um, to the um, airport or to Antwerp, Ghent, whatever city you want to visit, the coast, um, Bruges. But I'm um, diverging a bit too much, so let's continue with the tour. Big windows, floor to ceiling to make the room look bigger. Although the room is big enough, I think. Doesn't need any mirrors, but fantastic mirrors. Don't get me wrong. And then this here is a lollipop. I will show you guys what this is about tomorrow as well, because they have a little um, candy store downstairs. Um, and also like a sign. Mark from reception told me that that was a place to, um, to have your Instagram pictures taken uh, for social media. So yeah, they really did a, a great job. Um, by the way, this hotel was recently renovated. So it's, uh, it's brand new during Corona. So they really need all the help they can get to get started. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing also these hotel reviews to, to help them out. I really want to help out the, um, the entire industry because they're struggling, obviously. Um, yeah, another nightstand here, um, notepads, pen, a phone that I already needed to call reception because I couldn't uh, log into the Wi-Fi. Um, it wasn't Mark that picked up the phone, it was another guy, very friendly as well. So yeah, reception is really doing a great job here, it's uh, American standard. And by that I mean American customer service, which is legendary, in my opinion. Um, USB charging ports, regular plug, and then two light switches, which, let's see what the left one does, main lights, and then the right one is going to be this indirect lighting, if I'm not mistaken. Yup. Wow, let's see if this camera also does a great job completely in darkness. It's going to be grainy as hell, probably, still. Not sure if there's a camera out there that can handle this kind of darkness. Let's not wait and see, let's just put the light back on. So I think this is the entire room. The uh, view, obviously, I will show you guys in the morning, because there's a uh, oh, darkness right now, there's nothing to see. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, maybe the uh, HVAC, which you can turn on by touching this thing, yep, 
set to 21.5. The room is uh, perfectly fine. There is no heating device in the bathroom though. So I'm hoping it's going to be warm enough in the morning. It's actually freezing outside. Uh, it's still winter. And um, yeah, it was like zero degrees when I came in. Uh, speaking of coming in, I will show you also the reception area um, tomorrow, the breakfast area, the bar, the restaurant, all the stuff that Mark showed me, uh, conference room. Hopefully I can be able to go back in again uh, by myself and do a little tour. Um, but yeah, I was saying about the parking. Parking is uh, underneath the hotel. They have uh, 80 spots, I think. They're quite narrow though. I have a big car, like an SUV, and I I fit it in there, so it's gonna be fine. But yeah, if you're um, fresh off the boat from the US, you will have to get used to small streets anyway and small villages and small parking spaces. Um, so the parking is 27 euros per night. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the room. Can't wait to show you the rest of the hotel. I'm loving it already. I'm loving it. I wanted to show you guys the hallway real quick. Some more artwork here. I will check out different floors as well to see if there's different artwork, different styles maybe. This hallway is pretty cool as well. The paintings on the ceiling. It looks like a hallway in the uh, Enterprise from Star Trek, right? I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I haven't seen Star Trek in a long time. But it uh, has this futuristic vibe. Really nicely done. I just have to show you guys the reception area. It's really well done. First thing you see when you come into these revolving doors here is this big LED desk. It's fantastic, no? Also, if you put the car in the below parking, you come in that way. It's a bit less dramatic, but still cool. You have some more artwork here. The uh, bar area looks really nice as well. The restaurant is over there behind that curtain. Uh, Mark, the receptionist, just showed me. I will show you guys tomorrow, hopefully, if I get some access again. Breakfast area is there. And then there's like conference rooms and cool working spaces down here. And then over here you have this very handy little shop that is completely automated. So you pick up, you scan, you pay, you go. Let's see what's on offer. Obviously some chocolates, because you're in Belgium. M&Ms. For euro seventy-five for two hundred and fifty grams, I think this is two twenty. I think these are pretty regular prices. Then a fridge with your standard stuff, Stella Artois, which is regular beer in Belgium. I know in the U.S., New York, and other big cities, you sell this as a premium beer, but it's just our Pilsner, so not really special. This one is a pretty strong one so only get one if you uh, if you want to try it um, anything else just some regular stuff cheese that's keto some salami keto as well some vitamin drinks some dry nuts and wine to accompany it get some glasses as well get your popcorn and chips and then on this side you have your waters, some more chips, crisps I should say, chewing gum and then here's some basic amenities as well. Some cables if you forgot them and some toothbrush, some toothpaste, some COVID masks that are gonna stay with us for a very long time. But yeah, all in all if you enter to these revolving doors there, um, this place looks fantastic, no? I really like it. Really well done on the renovation. Even the ceiling here just, um, yeah, just look up. Um, there's like different details here. I told you guys before it looks a bit like the uh, Enterprise, but now it looks a bit more like uh, Star Wars, right? Yeah, great. 
none of these video reviews of mine are actually complete without the full shower review the day after, right? Uh, shower's good, pressure's good. Um, let me try to show you without ruining my camera. See? See on the inside? Wait, I'll show you. It does this twisty twisty thing that I hadn't noticed while I was taking a shower. But yeah, all in all, pressure is really good, so I'm really content. Let's see if I can show you the um, the promised outside view as well. The um, the guy at the reception told me the the view from here is uh, pretty spectacular over the city. I tried to clean up my room as good as possible. Yes, I did wear the bathrobe. I never wear any bathrobes in uh, hotels, but this one was too special not to wear. Um, so let's see if I can show you guys without too much backlight. Oh, that's actually quite good. On the little screen, it all looks really good. I hope the video footage is gonna be good when I look at on look at it on the big screen as well. So yeah, this is the um, business center of Brussels. Uh, smack in the middle of the screen now is the Proximus Tower. That's really the only thing I really know. The Proximus Tower is the um, the tower for the one of the biggest telecom operators in uh, in Belgium. I'm actually a customer of theirs, so I'm the one that affords them this beautiful building. And then I saw on the right side. I hope I can zoom in a little bit better than this. Let's see if I can zoom all the way in. You see the center of the screen? I'll try to hold it as still as possible. That's the Atomium. It's the, the symbol of Belgium um, in an architectural way. Um, I'm pretty sure I have my dates correct. I'm not uh, entirely sure, but I think it's 1958, uh, the World Exposition in Brussels. Um, and um, yeah, it's supposed to symbolize an atom, of course. These uh, silver balls you can go into and there's like expositions in there and like a viewpoint on top. Um, it's nothing too spectacular, but yeah, if you're here, you have to take a picture in front of the Atomium, right? To show that you've been to Belgium. It looks like a beautiful day. It's probably cold as hell as well. No clouds means cold, right? And then on the other side, there's another big... Um, I'm not gonna say skyscraper, because it's not even scraping the sky, but... It's um, some of Belgium's biggest, uh, tallest buildings, I think. We don't have any bigger than that. I just felt I needed to show you this as well, because they have a restaurant and a bar area as well. Look at the lights on top. Fantastic. They said it was closed for now. I'm not even gonna say the words why it's closed, because I'm fed up with it. Damn, would have loved to sit on the, at this bar and try out some of their cocktails. If the personnel um, of this bar is only half as friendly as the reception and the general manager, I'm sure he can have a good time here. I'm hoping they are also allowing non-customers of the hotel to come here at the, uh, at the bar. I'm pretty sure you can. Let's see what's on tap. I mean, it's a bit early to start drinking, but you can still have a looky look now. You have the Stella, you have the Leffe, you have the Quark, you have the Triple, and another Stella. Just to keep up with demand, I reckon. This is the restaurant part. With the open kitchen. You can only imagine when Corona is over, the activity that's going on here, right? I can already hear the plates clattering. People having a good time spending morning again. Always like these little boots here to have some privacy. And then I hope this is open or oh, there's no door in it, so it's oh, there is, but the door is open. 
This is a little um, gallery section where they display some artwork. I thought it was, uh, you probably won't register this on the, on the video, but I thought they were paintings actually, but they're actually just pictures. I mean, just. Let's see. The Roaring Twenties. 2,450 euros. A little bit out of budget for me, but I can understand. A lot of work has gone into these. It's all the same girl, no? I promised you guys I would show the fantastic breakfast area, but um, the moment I came in here, I was greeted by the general manager that came looking for me. Um, to be honest, I've never experienced uh, anything like this. I mean, I just started up this YouTube channel, of course, but I mean, I stayed in hotels uh, in different countries, in the US, uh, in Europe, all over. And I can say that I've rarely seen so much hospitality um, from personnel as well as uh, the general manager now. So yeah, big, big shout out to the team here. Uh, NH should be really proud. So yeah, um, I'm here for the breakfast area. Let's try to focus um, more of this urban art feel, quirkiness. Um, I'm not sure how to describe it but it's really well done. It's not too much, it's just perfect. It also fits the, um, yeah, the urban uh, surroundings, of course, of Brussels. And we have this little station here with the hot plates. Coffee machine with uh, some additional syrups. I don't know if you add them to the coffee. Uh, I think so. As I said, I'm not a coffee drinker. I would advise you to go all the way into the Belgian experience and try the Spiculos. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Belgian by uh, origin. Don't kill me if it's not. Then obviously here you have the empty baskets because I'm too late for breakfast. I brought my own stuff as I mentioned yesterday. I'm sure this is full of fresh bread in the morning and fresh croissants. I'll just read the labels and maybe Photoshop some food in there or After Effects it in. Uh, maybe not. Grilled tomato, mushrooms and cream sauce, chicken sausage and some bacon. You get your scrambled eggs and boiled eggs. I'm not sure what this is. And buckets full of marbles. This is interesting. I'm not sure what goes in here. Probably some refrigerated stuff like uh, cheese or yogurts or whatever. And then this little area is quite interesting as well. Um, this is the candy shop. Well, it's not really a shop. I'm pretty sure you can just take any candy you want. There's like um, tweezers here, little buckets. And then you can just take whatever you want. Also, the uh, reception guy mentioned that this is the um, perfect area to take Instagram pictures, right? You just sit down and smile and carry out the love for this hotel. general manager mentioned that they reopened a couple months ago. Um, they obviously wanted to wait until Corona was over, but I'm not expecting or anyone is expecting this to be over anytime soon. Though. So they just opened up and, and went with it. So yeah, really try to support uh, people in hospitality. They're really struggling uh, trying to get some occupancy. Um, yeah, so um, I'm trying to help a little bit wherever I can. This is Donald's girlfriend, right? What's her name again? I'm not sure. I asked the uh, general manager if I could leave my car here. I saw the opportunity and took it uh, for the day. And he said, no problem whatsoever. Uh, we'll arrange everything. Um, so I'm, I was a bit scared of taking my car out into the busy traffic. I mean, I could show some dramatic scenes outside, but it's not really happening. It's just a quiet street, I reckon. 
I assure you, driving around in Brussels is no fun. The garage as such was okay. Um, it's a bit narrow, of course, because everything is a bit more narrow here, narrow streets, narrow parkings. It's just the way the city is laid out. But the parking was okay. Uh, so I'm gonna leave my car here. I'm gonna try to find uh, some breakfast. Um, um, because I only had like a small yogurt that I kept in the fridge. Next time I'll come here, I will definitely have to check out the breakfast here and try to make a waffle without burning my fingers. So this concludes my stay at the now Bloom Hotel in Brussels. I think I uh, already mentioned this more than enough, but it was a perfect stay. I had a really wonderful stay. I'm gonna definitely come back. If I visit Brussels, this is gonna be my go-to spot for sure.